Welcome back everyone, I am Alka1993 and this is Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In today's episode we are going to shave... Shave? Yeah, we're going to shave Shiftry's hair off. We're going to save Shiftry from the mighty Zapdos of Mount Thunder. But before we do that, we are going to do some training here in Makuhita Dojo. I think for the moment I will not go to the flying maze because that didn't go too well last time. We actually have unlocked quite a few more things. I'm not going to go through the entire dungeon for all of them. I will just show the bosses off. So I'm going to do a few of these, get a bit more experience, maybe maybe a few items, and then we'll go to Mount Thunder in just a moment. Water maze is first. Let the training begin! Defeat the opposing team to win. Be careful, your opponents are tough. And they are, because the polywags that are there was only polywags throughout this dungeon. And they were pretty tough. They took um, a tail whips scratch combo and then either a scratch or an ember from Torchic to take out. And even then sometimes they survived. So these are pretty powerful ones. So Ziggy, I'm actually just Oh it actually still on tail whip headbutt. I forgot to turn that off from when was it? The Team Minis fight? Anyway, Gravelork to get some damage in. That thing's damaged. I'll actually attack this one, so Zig cause Ziggy can probably finish the other one off. Oops, wrong button. Hopefully it'll do it. No, not without that. Ziggy finishes that one off, that's nice. Hey, no Hypnosis and Bubble, maybe more. This is not good. Ziggy, please it No, it doesn't actually matter. I think Ziggy will take out whatever it attack. 103 damage! Wow, Ziggy, you be useful. You're being useful, yes! Nice job, Ziggy. So much damage. Alright, that was the water race. <laughs> I made this success drive you to train even harder. Indeed. On to the next one. And that will be... No, not that. Water maze. Fine, water maze again. Take two. Let's see how it goes this time. If I actually press the right button, then Torchic hopefully takes out this Poliwag. Then Ziggy will take out the other one. Tail Whip Head Butt, one shot and 61 damage. Nice. And now we all attack this one. And it's gone. Real nice EXP. So far, the grass maze has been really easy with just execute and sunkern, but I'm not gonna underestimate the bosses whatsoever because you remember the flying maze, Doduo happened. And even Farfetch seemed pretty strong. So I'm gonna attack Cacnea because I don't know how strong it is. Torture can easily attack the execute, although it should easily take the execute. Assuming it's the same kind from last time. Torchic levels up to level 14. I should note that um, Psyduck already leveled up back in the water maze to level 15. That was off screen. Shroomish comes in. Let's see how many hits Shroomish can take. Not that many. Sunkern comes in. And that's completely taken out. One more maze and then it's Mount Thunder time. Hmm, two electric, two Voltorb. Electric Maze has had only Voltorb so far. Interestingly, they gave different amount, different amounts of EXP, so they might be different levels. Um, Zigzagoon leveled up once in this dungeon. Attempted to learn Mud Sports, which, considering this is the Electric Maze and the fact we're not, we're soon going to a place called Mount Thunder, it would make sense to teach Mud Sport, but I felt that even though it would be helpful in Mount Thunder, it wouldn't really be that helpful afterwards, and I'd prefer to keep Sand Attack for multiple bosses, and I'd also prefer to keep Tackle as well, to have a second damaging attack for Ziggy. So that's what I decided to do. So all of them, all, all we, uh, all leveled up once, because some extra stats, get a decent amount of new items as well. So I'm gonna go store some of them and get ready for Mount Thunder. Alright, let's do this. Let's save Shiftry. Mount Thunder, here we come. Ooh, this music. 
Definitely increases intensity. This is the food of Mount Thunder. I wonder. Is Alakazam's steam already on their way? Zapdos. It sounds very tough. Ugh, I'm shaking. I shouldn't get all scared now. Our objective is to rescue Shifri. Aoka, let's do our best. Alright, and what I should also mention is that I got one new um, friend area off screen. It had thunder in its name and it said it was able to recruit a good amount of electric Pokemon, so hopefully that'll help me get a Pokemon here. Possibly electric would be from that. Now we already have Weedle, we got that I believe last episode in Silent Chasm. I'll get another one if possible, because like Kakuna and Beetle are a thing, otherwise Nidoran, Mail and Electric are what we'll get. Or more things later on, because I do believe that, considering we didn't see a Growlithe in Silent Chasm, I believe it's in this place that we'll actually find it. I wouldn't mind having a Growlithe. I already have a Fire Pokemon, so I wouldn't really put it in my main team. That'll very likely just stay Ziggy. One, because it finds items for me, and two, because as you've seen, it's really powerful. Also because we're in the regular part of the dungeon, we're going to switch Tackle back on. I also really appreciate a new attack for Psyduck. Two up scratch combo is working well, but I'd really appreciate another attack. And I'm pretty sure Psyduck doesn't actually learn Water Gun in Generation 3. I vaguely recall looking that up around the time I uploaded the first episode, so... I wonder what water moves it will learn, if any, at all. <laughs> it's pretty sure that at one point Psyduck can learn water gun. Maybe it's a breeding thing? I'm not actually sure. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. I'm gonna step away. I know I have a reviver seed on me, but I prefer to keep it for something other than the first floor. Let's see, there's something in here, could be. No, just going round. It's a Weedle! Yeah, I'm not gonna waste my time on a Weedle. You go do it. And then you miss, come on! No, tackle! Nah, doesn't really matter, there's enough power points between them, right? Yeah, 15, 22. That'll be okay. Second floor! There's a Nidoran. Uh, I should have actually moved so Torchic can attack Cacnea because this is dangerous. Like this. Also, then Cacnea can hit Psyduck with Absorb. Which is really nice. Let's see, can we get the Nidoran like that? It didn't even KO! What? I really thought it would KO after the damage it had already taken. So Gravelorock missed. Darn. Ember. At least it takes out the Cacnea. Got some replacement rocks. Pidgeotto. Well, we're not going to see the Pidgeotto here. What I'm thinking I may do, now you let me know what you think, because obviously these dungeons will get longer, and then the videos because of that will be longer, and sometimes, like, it'll be, I feel it'll be interesting and I want to show a lot of what happens in just these regular fights with um, all these enemies, however, I also feel that I don't want to show everything. I don't want to show every floor, especially in the really longer done. So I'm thinking of, if there's a floor where almost nothing happens, that I would skip that floor, or at least part of that floor, due to just editing part of that away. Please let me know in the comments what you think. I may actually do it in this episode. I haven't actually decided on that yet. But please let me know what you think of that idea. Because it will save time. And in much longer dungeons that will come later, it will be necessary. Maybe even this one. Maybe even this video, depending on how long it takes after all the cuts. More Nidoran. Come on, give me Nidoran. Nidoran is fun. What's that? No Nidoran yet. I'm on 14 power points. Ooh, what is that? A Link Box! Ooh, Link Boxes are cool. Oh wait, no, that's not what I think it is. Um... 
this could either activate or deactivate a link. I thought it was something else that we could use, like, much later in the game. It also has link in the name. Torchic, you get that. IQ Roast got status checker. Which is... Good. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Although I feel that's more of a... Don't use Thunder Wave if they're paralyzed or use Will of Wisp if they're burned thing. I think that we'll still use Ember if the opponent is burned. We're gonna have to wait and uh, see that. I'm not actually gonna use a Pitcher Berry. I feel somewhat safe. No, no, I don't actually feel that safe. I'm gonna help take out this Nidoran. That helps. Look what I just found. It's an Eribri! It's partly powerful, so I'm going to gravel a rocket while Ziggy will hit it with something powerful. Tail whip, headbutt, and it missed. Rock. Missed. Come on, tackle. Yes. 150 70 XP. That's nice. I remember getting 114, I think, from the polywag in the water maze. So that's a nice boost from that. Ooh, Standler. Torchic can attack around corners with. And Lucas can attack around corners with um, Ember. Ooh, Beedrill. Can we recruit Beedrill? Is that a thing? No. We can recruit Gligar, though. See, if I go up, Beedrill can hit me. But no, Torchic will be next to me, so it'll be fine. I'm just making sure that Torchic could hit it as well. I'm going to Gligar on my own to try and recruit it. Unsure about their recruiters. Hopefully this actually hits. Yes, because otherwise he might have taken me out and that wouldn't be fun. And for us! Dude, this is like the sixth dungeon! We're already getting evolved Pokemon! What? Uh oh. They don't seem to be that powerful, but Electabuzz, Ampharos, like give us Flaffy first. See, so how are the power points doing? Still seven. That's decent. I don't know how long this dungeon is. Sleeping Gligar. Sneak up on it. Do it. Scratch. Not too much of a risk now. And confirmed there, they will throw their items. If they feel it's dangerous. And Zigzagoon has found a lot of Orin Berries for me in this dungeon, so... No problems there, so let's just give a new one to Lucas. Ooh, a TM. And it's Dig. We don't have that. We want TMs. I also have a lot of apples, so I'll just eat an apple. Dig. A TM, the first one we got. Actually, I could have bought this from... What's it? From Kecleon, but I decided not to. The king had attacks on the nester. Not possible to link with this move. That underground preface is actually strike on the next turn. Can any of us actually learn this? Can we? I can learn Dig! With Psyduck! Guess I'll take it instead of Water Sport? Yes? Dig? Huh. I hadn't actually thought about ever using a move like that. Um, I guess I'll try it on a Pokemon. Like, especially against Electric Pokemon, that'd be nice. And it lets me dodge things. Except when... We fight Zapdos, that's not really gonna help, because it's flying type and stuff. And I'm pretty sure... No, even... I might actually be able to damage it. Because I'm not sure if... Um... How type effectiveness works. Like, obviously it's still a thing type effectiveness, but the not very effective thing... At least regular non-effective, like, let's say using electric on electric... Doesn't affect the damage as much as, for example, super effective would do. I'm not sure if not effective at all, like fully resisted, due to immunity, does anything with it. Uh, it's multiple times now that I'm going through the dungeon and the very, and it's really big here, and then the very last room is the one I need. Tail whip. Ooh, even with a sand attack on, it takes him out. 162 EXP. Some real nice points. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna stand here. I'm not actually gonna go on the stairs yet because I don't want to take you out. Ooh, Dorte actually ran the corner. I forgot that it could do that. Well, not that it could, but didn't consider the possibility. We seem to have found a safe point. We're not gonna save the adventure. Is there no Kangaskhan storage here? Does this place give free healing? I don't know, we did just pick up a gold ribbon, which you can sell apparently for a good amount of money. Let's pick the TM for Taunt. I'm not gonna use that. I can say that the TM for Dig has been really useful so far. And also, I am 100% cutting things in this dungeon. Like, you'll already have seen it, I'm just coming up with it now, because I've been recording for a long time, and this place is big. Mount Thunder Peak, the dungeon continues. <laughs> Music, Growlithe and Glagor, yes, I did remember it correctly, there are Growlithe here. Still don't have a new one, this, this counts as two different dungeons, mid, with a midpoint. Oops, wrong button again. I believe such a midpoint does heal you, yes, completely heals you, completely heals power points, I appreciate that. Because I was running out. There's a Manectric, yeah, Manectric! Get over here. Does it notice us now? No. Where you at? Just gonna stand here. Actually, I'm just gonna throw a rock at you. Rock! This isn't really going well. I'm actually gonna go here. If you finish that off. Well, I positioned myself so I couldn't get hit by the Manectric, but meanwhile, got myself ready for an attack on the Electabuzz. And... Kaboom! Yay. Yes! Confusion! I did get my wish of getting a new attack. We already got Dig, but now we got Confusion too! Yay! So, bye bye Disable. We now have moves. We have Dig, we have Confusion, then we have the Tail Whip Scratch combo. That is nice. Good extra stats. Two special attack to go with Confusion. Let's see what my stats are like. 26 attack, 27 special attack, so I think Tail Whip Scratch is still strongest, although I'm not sure how exactly the power works in this game. Definitely gonna keep confusion here, I appreciate that, yes. Awesome. We started with just the Tail Whip Scratch combo, and now we have both Dig and Confusion for Psyduck. Let's move on. Okay, that's quite a few, like, two strong enemies. Um, hopefully Dig will work. Torchic survive, please. Twix at the Electabuzz. An extra test to hit me doesn't work, and we take him out. Nice. Growlithe! We're gonna stand here so Torchic doesn't take it out. Do whip, scratch. I want to see what Confusion's like. Confusion! Yes! We got Growlithe! Ba -ba -dum. I want it, Growlithe. Barely gonna do anything with it, although it will join us for the boss battle. I wonder if it'll actually get to do anything due to the positioning of everyone, but I'll take it. Let's see what level is it. Growlithe is level 10, so not all that high. But I'll take it. Any new member is a good new member. Ooh. This is the summit. Hey! Zapdos! Where are you? We can't rescue Shifty! Come out! I warned you. I have no mercy for meddlers. Not 
Scared? You don't frighten me! Hey Zapdos! We demand you release Shiftry! We're a Pokemon rescue team! You must be determined to utter such words. Then you shall answer. To my great and righteous fury! And we start the battle with Torchic right there, so there goes the throw Graveler Rock first and have it come to us strategy. Um... I have a plan. And I'm actually gonna change a bit the moves around a bit. Torchic, you just keep doing that. I'm gonna start Ziggy with at least one sand attack and then it'll... then he'll tail whip headbutt. You do your thing, however... Both of you are not accused, no. Tactics. Go after foes, because I want them to step in ASAP, because I'm not going to step in first turn. Because I actually took an item with me for this. Because I remember there was a boss battle. Sleep Seed! Good sleep, Zapdos. I said go after foes, why is, Gr why is Growlithe going behind me? It, there's a foe right there! Okay, you just go to Let's Go Together because I'm not going to get you back on the team anyway. Zigzagoon, come on. Walk towards it! Come on. It's not that hard. You know we're just going to hit hard now. Sand attack, get away. We're just going to hit really hard. Let's see, do we have any other items we can really use? I don't think I've shown off a Blast Seed yet. Let's use a Blast Seed. Last it looks like this. Both. 30 damage. I think in later games it's 45. It's not that much damage. Tail Whip will really be useful, so that's the reason why it would use Tail Whip Scratch combo to help with the other attacks as well. Confusion might actually do a bit more to Zapdos, but that Tail Whip thing will really help also with Scratch and Headbutt and potential Bite from Growlithe. Come on, Headbutt! 104 damage! Ziggy does it! <laughs> Level 15 for Lucas as well. Ziggy, you are powerful. You are a boss. <laughs> Heck yeah. I like Ziggy. Yeah. What, what is going on? You want more? I'll take you on. Enough. That's enough fighting. I've calmed down. Take Shift Tree back. You kids, you've impressed me. But things won't be easy next time. I will go all out next time. So you'd best be prepared. Until then, you'd better hone your skills. Look! There's Shiftry! Are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah, somehow I am. I'm glad you're safe! But that was an eye-opener. Driving off that Zapdos? I agree. You're awfully strong for a plain Psyduck. I sensed it when we first met. Perhaps... You aren't a Pokémon, are you? W wow! How can you tell that? But you're right. Auk isn't a Pokémon. Auk is a human. WHAT?! A human?! Is that possible? Can something like that happen? Auk doesn't understand very much either. Auk woke up one morning here as a Pokémon. It doesn't remember anything about being a human. Oh wait! Lombre said something in the square. He said Alakazam knows everything. Alakazam, could you figure out why Alka became a Pokemon? Hmm. No. I can't determine that. Oh. I thought you would know. However, there is a way for unveiling the truth. 
Oh, really? How? Make way to the Hill of the Ancients. There, you will find a Pokemon that stares into the sun all day. A Pokemon who is said to see into the future. Zatu is his, is his name. He should shed light on your puzzling friend. Okay, so we should go see Zatu. Alka, let's go. Off to the Hill of the Ancients. We can't waste any time. Let's go back quick. Shifter, you too. Let's hurry back. Uh, yeah, I guess we should. Okay. Don't just stand there. Let's go home. Alakazam, I know you. I don't think you're completely ignorant about this. You know something, don't you? There is something that concerns me, but it should go unspoken for now. For their sake. Wow, what an adventure we have had today! In the top of this, at the top of the screen, you will now see the question of the video. Please answer that in the comments below, and then I'll see you in the next video. Which, likely, we will go to Zizatu at the Hill of the Ancients. See you then.